Taylor and Charlotte are two UD sophomores looking for a place to call their place. While Charlotte wants a quiet, private space for her and her boyfriend to hang out and do work, Taylor's pushing for an open floor plan to pregame and postgame with her squatter friends. They've known each other for two months and have never gotten into a fight. With a budget of $700 a month, excluding electric, water, cable, internet maintenance, and fuck you, your broke college student fees, let's see what they can find. This is House Hunters Away at School. First up is on-campus housing, and Taylor and Charlotte are looking at the Courtyard's apartments. While complete with separate bedrooms and bathrooms, the Courtyard's check the boxes for Charlotte. They don't have the lack of RA that Taylor's looking for. Let's see what the dynamic duo thinks. Wow, this is really nice. It looks like a stage room at an abandoned Ikea. It's got a lot of space though. I mean, look at all this space in the kitchens. But look at this sign on the fridge. Broken, do not use? Does that mean the whole fridge is broken? Where are we gonna keep our food? I'm sure they'll fix it before we move in. Slow down there, Charlotte. They, in fact, will not have someone come fix it before you move in, and the refrigerator, garbage disposal, fan, and blinds will remain broken all year. Let's see what our best friends forever think about the bedrooms. Whoa, I love the full-size bed. <laughs> of course you do. <coughs> Whore. What? Nothing, Charlotte. Look at the freaking sign. I don't know what that even means. I mean, I wouldn't worry about it. Plus, I feel really safe here because we're on campus. There's no random men or creepy guys peeking in our windows and assaulting us. Yeah, and you only really have to worry about the guys on campus anyway. Wait, who's that? Oh my god, I don't know. He's staring at us and he's not moving. I'm leaving. I just used this. Next up are two properties off campus, owned and rented out by Josh. He's a nice guy, but don't you dare try and put command hooks on the walls because if you rip up even the slightest bit of paint, he will never talk to you again. First, he's showing our soul sisters a cozy apartment on Main Street. This is nice. If you listen close, you can hear the music down at Freddy's. It's like a constant party. Taylor, there's like no space in here. Are there even any windows? No windows. That's great. We can do whatever we want. It's the middle of the day. The lights in here are going to give me a migraine. How am I ever going to get any homework done? You're just a big ball of stress, aren't you? There's plenty of light in here. So, these apartments go really quick. Uh, if you want it, you have to tell me right now. Um, but the security deposit is only $2,000, and for you guys, minus fees. Oh, I told them not to hang up lights. Command hooks? There goes their security deposit. Taylor and Charlotte's last option is a house with the charm of a college town before the gentrification. It's a half hour walk to campus, making it slightly outside their target neighborhood, but it's also half the price, plus $200. It's $50 less a month. Now that our dos amigos have seen the best Newark has to offer, which will they choose? Will Taylor compromise for the space of option one, or will Charlotte give in for the atmosphere of option two? And let's hear it for the charm of option three. We've decided, decided to go with none of them. Charlotte is so boring. I cannot live with her. I, I have to go random at Rittenhouse. And I'm living in my sorority house. My sisters will be more supportive than you ever were. Oh, please. Well, that's a wrap on Taylor and Charlotte. Join us next week as four fraternity brothers who barely speak to each other look for a place to party, live, and potentially die. This has been House Hunters Away at School.